Robert, what can you say as an assurance or a word of comfort to people who look around and say, it's hard to believe that there's a good and a loving God in the face of all of this violence and disease and injustice that they see in the news and around them every day? Well, it is certainly easy to look at what happens in the world and to, to really feel deep sadness or shake one's head in disbelief and amazement. Um, and I think that that choice, or the choice of choosing that reaction, takes us to a certain place of, of distancing ourselves from, from others and from what is going on, almost as if we're wanting to build a, a barrier, a wall to, to protect us. And, and we know from the history of walls that they don't necessarily do very much. Uh, there is another way of thinking about it, which is to either to either think about those who in your own community or in your own life have touched your life, transformed your life, uh, or done something utterly magnificent. Uh, it might be the person who came to your house when you got the call at midnight that your mother had died and they were simply there and they were there again the next morning with breakfast that they had baked for you. It may be as simple as that. Uh, or it might be the person uh, across the country who worked for 72 hours around the clock trying to rescue people from the floodwaters in New Orleans. Uh, the world is filled with incredible examples of people doing selfless, generous, loving, healing acts uh, out of a sense of, of giving. And so I suppose the question is what sort of framework do we want to live with? Do we want to choose the one that says, yes, there are these awful things that happen, and they do. Um, there's no denying that. Uh, and some of them are utterly horrific and even barbaric. Uh, or do we want to say, yes, those exist, but there's also this something else. And do I want to align my life and my energy with being part of the offering of love, made known not with words, um, although words are beautiful, but in action. Um, and so I see that as a, as a real choice. Uh, and, I, and I know that when we choose the path of love in action, uh, in acts of mercy that give people hope, that restore people's confidence, that provide people with a sense of justice, maybe of having been heard, maybe have been listened to or even seen for the first time. You know, it's a wonderful thing that we do but it's often we who are transformed infinitely more than the person who receives. And so I see in it all um, a spirituality of an ecology, really, of giving and receiving in acts of love and mercy and hope.